Welcome to the Minute of Strength workout trainer series. Mike's been working with you guys on a, a ball squat with a dumbbell. All right, so we, we can use a, a dumbbell, a kettlebell, a rock, just anything that adds resistance. What we're going to do though is going to go freestyle, no ball, unilaterally. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to suspend from my left hand, I'm going to jump up on this wall, I'm going to lie back. I'm going to drop my hips back, down, as if I had a wall, a ball behind me. My back's nice and flat. I'm get a nice grip on the XT to engage my core. So what happens when you have that ball up against that up against the wall, it, it forces you to keep your back straight. But it's not engaging your core necessarily, either by adding resistance or taking resistance away. So once again, here we go. Find the necessity for technique. Here it is. I crush this. I engage my core automatically, which enables my back to stay straight. So I'm not rounding, I'm not relying on a tool to give me that technique. So here we go. Switch hands. I'm gonna lie back. My arms extended, hips back, down, pulling toward the heels. I push back and up in the same movement pattern, in the same arc that I created on the descent. You can switch hands on this. If one hand is too challenging, grab it with both hands. You want to add resistance? Put a dumbbell in your hand, put a kettlebell, have it hanging by your side, just keep it safe. You want to use two XTs if you're not ready for even two hands on one. You can have two at the same time to support yourself. You can also do this on one leg at a time. Looks something like this. Technique is the same. I find that center, extend one leg out, hips back, down. I pull in, I push back and up, and then I can switch sides. Further recruitment of that hamstring and glute, you'll really find that there's no tension on your knees. So what you'll do is you'll get that technique, you'll carry it over to your more traditional leg training, and I would integrate this directly into those workouts. You could do it as a standalone, but this really sets you up to build that, that fundamental base again, break some plateaus maybe, and just get back to some good, solid, old-fashioned training with good form. All right, give that one a shot. Mike, take it away.